everyone, my name is India and today I'm going to be reviewing The One and Only by Emily Giffen. A lot of people were saying that it was a good summer read, but it's almost autumn now. So I definitely wanted to read this book before it turned fall time. This is the first Emily Giffen book that I've ever read. I've heard good things about a lot of her books like Something Borrowed, Something Blue, Love the One You're With, and I was kind of intrigued by this book because of the cover. The cover is just a nice kind of teal. It's like 415 pages or so. I love this book but I hated the main character and we're gonna get to that in a second. It follows the story of a woman in her 30s named Shay Rigsby. The book starts off, they're at her best friend's mom's funeral. You kind of follow Shay. She really, really, really admires Lucy's dad, who is the coach of this huge college football team. Over the course of the book, her kind of like hero worshiping, like looking up to Lucy's dad kind of turns into a crush. And I don't want to give anything else away about that just yet until we get to like the spoiler discussion. It was different for me because the characters were older than I am. They were in their 30s to maybe like their 50s. And I'm usually reading books about teenagers or people in their 20s like me. I'm 22. Pause this video, come back in a few days after you read the books so we can kind of discuss that part. Now we're gonna go into the spoiler discussion. She basically starts to have a crush on Lucy's dad. And I personally did not agree with that part of the book at all but it's a very big part of the book that was the part that I really didn't like about that book because even though you know like true love prevails and all that kind of stuff which I believe that was kind of not cool your, your best friend's mom just passed away and then less than a month later you're falling in love with her dad your mom is best friends with your best friend's mom so you're kind of like betraying a lot of people here by having a crush on your best friend's dad and I didn't like how at the end of the book they actually got together. Shay was definitely the character that I loved to hate. I didn't really hate her, she just wasn't my cup of tea, but I loved to not like her. I feel like she was kind of self-centered, not just with that, but like with other things in the book, and I felt like that she was kind of irresponsible. I just kind of feel like she was very self-centered about just certain things in the book, even how she wanted people to immediately accept the fact that she was wanting to date Lucy's dad. She was kind of like, okay, they need to get over it already. And she even um, said that it wasn't her mom's business, but I kind of feel like, you know, her mom had a right to feel the way she felt because Lucy's mom was her best friend. So I kind of see where that kind of comes into play. I do like how she did patch up things with her dad, and I really like how Walker University um, won the national championship at the end, the football team won everything, and I really think that was important to the book, especially because Walker football was so important to the family. It kind of just was like, eh, when Lucy's dad and Shay got together, I thought Shay was going to get over like her whole melancholy thing and, you know, she's going to meet someone else. And I also thought that maybe she was going to forget about Ryan and coach and get with Gordon who she worked with at the Dallas Post but his character wasn't as developed as I thought it was going to be but he did have like a good role you know the connection with the Dallas Cowboys and all that kind of stuff so I see the role that he played I really did like the book it was such a good read it was so cozy like I could definitely curl up on the couch with like some tea or something and read that book and I would actually prefer to read that book in the fall. I wish I would have read it when it was like colder outside because it was that type of book. And I'm always reading like fantasy fiction and stuff like that. So this was a nice change. I definitely would recommend this book to anyone. I think it's a cool, great read and I think it would make a great movie. I definitely would also explore more Emily Giffen books now that I've read this one and I liked it. A few people have said that they like this book a lot, but it's actually their least favorite of her books. So if that's the case and I'm pretty sure that I like a lot of her books because I really enjoyed this one and I wonder how the story would have went from Lucy's point of view because Lucy was the only person in the family who didn't like football so that would be kind of cool too but how do you feel about the book do you feel like I'm overreacting by not liking Shay that much or not kind of like liking her relationship with coach Clive like, do you think I'm overreacting or did you kind of feel the same way when you read the book let me know your thoughts on this book I love 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 to hear your thoughts on this book so yeah just let me know what you think and leave it in the comment section and stuff we can chit chat about it and thank you guys for watching this book review and I'll talk to you soon bye